वेलकम एवरी वन सो मैनी पीपल फेल टू डू दिस ओवरली येस आई विल शो यू टू मैथड्स द नेक्स्ट मैथड इज समथिंग विच इन विच यू कैन लिटरली डू दिस अंडर थर्टी सेकेंड्स एंड दिस इज सो सो ईजी ओके दिस इज स्पेशली दैट सेकेंड मैथड इज स्पेशली फॉर पीपल वर अपियरिंग फॉर एंट्रेंसेज नाउ लेट्स लुक एट अर ट्रेडिशनल मैथड वेन एवर सो इन योर एल एच एस यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस ए रेस टू एम प्लस एन सो वेन एवर यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस यू कैन राइट दिस एज वॉट ए रेस टू एम इन टू ए रेस टू एन ओके सो नाउ दिस लुक्स लाइक फोर रेस टू एक्स इन टू फोर रेस टू टू इक्वल्स टू एट सो नाउ दिस इज वॉट फोर रेस टू एक्स इन टू सिक्सटीन इक्वल्स टू एट ओके now in order to find the value of x you will divide or we will try to shift as many numbers as possible on this side so we have 4 raised to x equals to now this is 1 za and 2 za so this is what 1 upon 2 okay now see here you can very well take the help of log and everything yes you can but i'm just going to make this so much easier for us because see remember 1 upon a raised to n can be written as a raised to Minus n. So now one upon two that gets you what two raised to one only. Basically this is so this is basically two raised to minus one. And four you know very well we can write this as two square the whole raised to x. Right now remember in your LHS if you have something like this a raised to m the whole raised to n it can be written as a raised to m into n. So using the same logic, I will write two raised to two x equals to two raised to minus one. Therefore, I can say since the bases are same, two x equals to minus one. Therefore, I can say value of x is nothing but one minus one upon two. Okay, this is your one value or one way of doing this particular sum. Now, like I said, we can actually do the entire sum orally. now how you would have done it this is quite interesting see whenever you have something like this you need to pay attention to your bases and both of them can be written in terms of 2 so 2 raised to 2 the whole raised to x plus 2 equals to 2 raised to 3 now here like i said a raised to m the whole raised to n can be written as what a raised to m into n so here this will look like 2 raised to 2 times x Plus two equals to two raised to three. Now in indices, remember if the bases are same, you can directly equate the indices. So we have two raised two x plus two equals to three. Correct. So now let's open the brackets. You have two x plus four equals to three. Now in order to find the value of x, you will subtract both sides by four. So now I have something like this: two raised to x, two x equals to minus one. Three minus four is minus one. In order to find the value of x, you will divide both sides by two. So x is nothing but minus half. So how easily you could do this? See now, lot of people will think that so many steps I did by saying it can be done orally. Please understand: yes, you can do it orally only and only if you have a sound knowledge of indices. if you had done it orally you would have directly instead of doing these two steps you would have directly jumped to this step and after this there is hardly anything to do okay so in this kind of a scenario you need to always understand that lot of sums are given to just trick you okay so if you had already understood that the bases are same we can write both of them in the same base of 2 things would have been much much easier now let's try and put this value over here and find if we are getting the value as 8 so we have 4 raised to minus 1 by 2 plus 2 so this comes out to be 4 raised to 3 sorry 3 upon 2 so this very well can be written as what 4 raised to 3 the whole raised to 1 by 2 correct because we are using the same logic which i just explained okay So here, this comes out to be four raised to three is what sixty four, and one by two is nothing but what root. So root of a positive number is always a positive number. So answer is eight. So I hope you understood how to solve these kind of sums when you have something in the similar base. Okay, so now very quickly, let's see if we had something like this. Oh, instead of 
3, let's say if we had 9 raised to x minus 4 equals to 27. Now if that was the case, you would have done this directly. 2 raised to x minus 4 equals to 3. So this would be 2x minus 8 equals to 3. So 2x equals to 11 because you are adding both sides by 8. So x is equals to 11 by 2. Let's put it over here. So now we have 9 raised to 11 by 2 minus 4. So that gets you 9 raised to 3 by 2. Similar situation has arise. So we will do 9 raised to 3. The whole raised to 1 by 2. 9 raised to 3 is nothing but what? 7, 29. And 1 by 2. Raised to 1 by 2 is nothing but what? Root. Root of 7, 29 is nothing but what? 27. So you saw how easily you could do these things. I am just giving this as an example. Not necessarily every time you will come out. Come to some questions like this but yes there are chances where they will put these kind of questions just to trick you and some of the students i thought i saw it was so such a pity that they actually started using logs and everything please understand log should be the last resort only you should take log or rather help of log only in the scenario where you realized that both of these bases or the indices cannot be done in each other's situation or you cannot use a common base or rather you cannot equate them in, in any other form only and only then your log has to be taken into consideration without uh, using logs if you could do all of this you saw how easily we could do this literally under one minute that is exactly what is needed for these kind of entrances okay so please understand don't hurry when you look at the question don't start panicking and start using logs and you know try solving don't do that in fact i would recommend that if they had given us options okay if they had given us options like a b c and d in these kind of scenarios i would request you to try and use the options first and then see if the options are not working out then yes you can see these working but unfortunately in many of these entrances they have started using short answer techniques so in that case you have to type in your answer okay so if that is the case then yes these kind of methods are something which is important for all of you all to know that is the reason why i explain this method but towards the end of most of my videos I try to tell you that yes, options also work in these kind of scenarios. So I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Also, those of you who are new to my channel, please remember I daily I upload three times. One is at 8 a.m. Then is 12 p.m. And then is 5 p.m. On Indian Standard Time. Okay. And in between these two, I also upload one quiz. So, if you want to have a clear-cut understanding of mathematics, then please subscribe to my channel because that literally gives me a lot of encouragement in keeping on doing these kind of videos. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.